Hello everybody. This is the final haul from my American saga. If you haven't seen the other ones, I will put the link below to the other hauls that I have done. Um, but basically, I went to America and spent a shit ton of money on stuff. I do not, I don't care. I, I'm happy as Larry now. And I'm not saying that buying things will make you happy. It just help. But I, yeah, the two, two other hauls. This is the third and final haul. Um, and it is a very special one. And um, it is a... <laughs> It's special for me because I'm in England. Sephora! So, you know, I've seen lots of hauls, Sephora hauls from various different YouTubers and I thought, oh my god, I can do a Sephora haul. I love makeup, don't get me wrong. But I'm a very, like, I get what I need sort of person. I And I, and I tend to sort of use makeup in more of a basic way. Like, there's so many makeup tutorials where these girls are using these products that I've never heard of. You know, they, they go through all these routines and stuff, buying products or having products that I... I don't really feel I have the need for. So there was a lot of products there that I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, I could have bought a lot more had I had a more in-depth and kind of knowledge of makeup, like an in-depth need or knowledge of makeup. Um, I don't, I don't deem myself as a makeup artist or a beauty guru because I mean, I just do makeup videos because I enjoy it. Um, so I basically bought stuff that I liked, I liked the look of, um, and I got stuff, you know, that I know I'm going to use frequently, and also that are quite luxury, if I must say so. The first things I'm going to show you are the things that I went straight for when I went in there, and that is Kat Von D. Now, they don't do Kat Von D makeup in the UK. I did a eyeliner video, and a lot of the comments in there was, you need to try the Kat Von D eyeliner, so of course, what was the first thing that I got? It was the motherfucking Kat Von D eyeliner. I'm so excited to try it. it. It's almost like Kat Von D knew this was gonna be an epic product because she's packaged it in like, it almost looks like it's floating in the box. You know like when you watch a movie and they are going to grab like a artifact that's on like a temple post and it's sort of hovering in midair and if you touch it then all the booby traps will go off. This is how I kind of feel about this, it's just sort of magically floating in midair. The next thing that I got that was Kat Von D is the, this is an eye contour palette and a palette so on the back it has got these colours on it, I'm actually going to get it out. You know what I love about this palette is that it is all matte. See, I, I love doing like browns and stuff on my eyes, but um, I use the Naked palette for that, but they're all sort of shimmery, so I'm really looking forward to trying these out because they're all matte. And the other two things that I got from Kat Von D were some lipsticks, and they come in these really cool, like almost studded looking, um, like, tubes. Obviously Kat Von D is a tattoo artist and she dates rock stars, well she dated Nikki Six, so she's quite a rock and roll chick. And Wolf's uh, Mouth is a, it's sort of like a plum, it's a dark sort of purpley colour. It's sort of more on the, on the red side of things, so I'd say it was sort of a, a dark raspberry and I'll just do a swatch. Can I do a swatch? So it's sort of that kind of colour. And the next colour is Hellbound. So when I was at Disney, my red MAC lipstick uh, melted. So I had to buy another red lipstick and I thought, well, whilst I'm here, I might as well get the Kat Von D red. So she is sort of renowned for her red colours, um, wearing bright, like a good red lip and, you know, strong eyes and, you know, her black and blonde hair. So I got the red one and it's a really, really nice red colour and it's going to be a good replacement for the MAC one. Uh, so I got that. Uh, the next thing I got was a chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. So... Okay, this was looked absolutely beautiful on the display and the case looks like a chocolate bar and uh, inside it looks like this and it's got a re really gorgeous range of uh, colours and they are all named after sweet stuff. So we've got gilded ganache, milk chocolate, black forest truffle, triple fudge. It's just such a nice range and I love eyeshadow palettes so I couldn't really not and it's a nice tin. I feel like it'll be well protected. The next thing is this foundation. Now this is Sephora's brand and it is a airbrush foundation. So I saw the tester and thought, oh, 
gave it a go and it was actually really really cool um it's a very light foundation now see the thing is is i use my matching l'oreal minerals all the time and i do have other foundations that's why i didn't really buy anything that i normally get so i i mean i have foundations like pumpy ones so i didn't think i didn't really want to try anything like that so i thought i might as well try something new so i got this and I'm very, very excited. I'll just show you quickly. You just sort of spray it on. I don't know if you can see in the light, but you can sort of see there. I got the pale one because I'm pale. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So that'd be good for a good light finish. And then I got a boring pencil sharpener because I don't actually have any eyeliner pencil sharpeners. And then I got a Sephora airbrush spray. Run. If I need to use this for my foundation, then I can. And if I want to use it for like concealer or anything, I don't have anything like this, so I got one of the groovy shaped sponges. So that is what I got from Sephora. Very, very excited. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.